I'd like to show you how the law of multiplication works in nature because I can see that very few people understand how to do it with finances um, and they see it on a day-to-day -day basis in nature but they don't they don't get it I've got about 10 of these plants right and they all came from that that's the mother plant so about 10 years ago I think it was nine years ago I harvest a lot of seeds from that specific plant and I planted that I nurtured that and eventually I planted 10 of these plants where they stand at the, at the moment now it's about eight years after I've replanted them but let's say this plant is about 10 years old I've got no idea what the value of a plant like this is but it, it's, it's totally irrelevant because here's the lesson if I take one of these there's a lot of seeds and I'm going to zoom in on it later to show you the law of multiplication right as you can see there's 10 of of these and on average there's just over 30 per uh, again <laughs> I've got no idea what to call that okay so there's about in other words 300 of these little pots uh, on this plant but if I look behind me it's a, more, more or less the same this plant has got less pots per branch but there are actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20. There's actually 22 of them. So we can say on average, let's make it 300 pots as well. Okay, now there's a whole production because last year I started with an experiment and I wanted to see if I harvest this and I plant it just in, in, in the felt, uh, what's going to happen. And I'd like to take you there to show you what is busy happening. So last year what I did was to collect all these little seeds uh, from those uh, plants and I prepared four beds and I literally sow them in the felt. That's because there were too many seeds uh, to handle any other way. Well, I didn't know how to handle it anyway because I haven't got the skills and I'm not into this game. But I wanted to see this experiment and, and see what the effect is going to be in terms of nature when it comes to the law of multiplication. And what I'd like to do is to literally zoom into this area so that you can see how many seeds actually turn into little plants. And then I'm going to show you the rest of the production line so far so that we can try to get an idea of how nature works and what's the law of multiplication. Now, there's a lesson in this. If I did not do that, I think the chances are almost zero that there would be any new additional plant maybe one or maybe two if we were lucky but because I took the responsibility to prepare this and to nurture this and to give it water and to look after it and as you can see I don't pay uh, too much attention to it um, but it's that responsibility changes everything that is the spark that is where the matrix comes in and the moment that you apply that <laughs> magic starts to happen so let me go and zoom in first of all and then what I'm going to do I'm going to take you to where we are in this process okay I've got no idea if it's going to work but um, let's zoom in and each and every one of those are a small plant okay and now from there we are busy planting them over and let me show you that right so at the moment there's just over a thousand little plants that I've planted and hopefully if I take the responsibility and we look and care for them, they're going to become plants like the ones that we've just seen within, let's call it, a 10-year period. Now what I'd like to do is to simply go back and start counting these little seeds per pot to see how many seeds I've actually, or the possibility or the potential is, to harvest and to turn into plants like this, if of course I want to do that. So let's go to my office and so that we can really count this and, and see the outcome of this. Okay, so <clears throat> let me see. I'm going to, to break this open and try to get all the seeds out. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to count them. And what we're then going to do, I'm going to go to Excel to try to calculate what is the return on investment or the IRR or, um, you know, what's the growth on this one pot and remember there were 30 pots and they were about well there are 10 of these little uh, trees so I'm going to count it I'm not going to count it 
and I'll zoom in and then I'll tell you exactly how many there are. Okay, let me zoom in and there are exactly 104. So let's make it 100 just to make the sums easy. And now let's go and have a look at Excel. Okay, so let's go to Excel to see what's the potential growth that uh, this crop has. Uh, the first thing is there are 10 trees, there are 10 branches, I think we can call them branches. There are 30 pots, um, basically on each and every branch, on average. Uh, let's assume that there's a thousand, a hundred seeds, sorry, uh, per pot. And let's assume, well, the total tells me that there are 300,000 seeds. In a year's time, the potential is almost, almost a 3 million percent growth. 3 million, it's 2 million 999,900 percent. Incredible. But you see, we are the custodians or the trustees or the caretakers of this world. And it's our duty to to nurture this and to look after it. Now, the type of dedication, if we're not going to do anything, I promise you that I don't think there will be one little extra tree next year. So it's our responsibility to take care of this. Now, I did not pay too much attention to it. And I would say that there's between five to 10,000 little seedlings that I've got at the moment that I'm busy planting over. Right, but let's assume there's 5,000. That's going to give me a 49,900% growth. Right. Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, honest, but what the heck has this got to do with money? And why this blabbering, you know? Let me show you something. I'd love you to, to see something. Because I can see that people do not get this. And because they, they, they do not get this, they suffer. And there's no... There's no reason to suffer, but we need to take the responsibility, change our mindset, get out of the system to understand our true and great potential. And this is a limited potential to a certain extent in nature. But let's look at our potential. I think you all know by now that I took on a challenge to invest 34 rands and 83 cents and turn that into 1.3 million in less than a year. Now, it's not 100% the truth, because if you really, from a financial point of view, go and have a look at it, because there's a structure between two businesses, two investment companies, right? It actually cost me nothing. But let's assume for this investment company, it cost 34 rands and 83 cents. The goal is to get to 1.3 million. That's the goal, right? That simply means that if I achieve that, if that's the potential, I achieve that, it's a 3.7 million percent growth. Can you see that this actually outperformed this by 1.7 million percent? This is what makes me excited in life. This is what I want my students to understand and to, to click. Because the moment that you click this, the moment that you understand this rainmaker skill, the law of creation and the law of multiplication, this is law of multiplication. The moment that you understand that, it's enormous. At the moment, as I'm shooting this, I looked at the balance sheet, the, the bank statements, in other words, the money that's in the bank, there are 572,348 rands and 71 cents. That gives me a growth of 1.6 million percent already, and we're just, just over the halfway mark. 1.6 million. Now, people come to me and they say, compounded interest. No, no, we're not interested in compounded interest. Our potential, our growth, we need to go to the law of multiplication, not to compounded growth. Compounded growth is a man-made phenomenon. It's, 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 it's a portion of the, the truth, right? Now, I know what you're going to say to me. You're going to say to me, honest, yeah, but you can make it. Because you can't believe how many excuses people will find. It's, it's unreal. You know, there's always an excuse. Instead of just saying, listen, I've got a problem. I need to change my mindset. I need to... to to surrender and to accept this potential that's within me and this greatness that's within me, you, you know, and forget about what other people are telling you. Uh, you know, this, th this is the truth. This is, well, your limit is actually not, your potential is not that. That is a limitation that you've set for yourself. Because in a previous uh, goal that I've set in 2004, I actually showed you how to make 1.2 billion 
100% with financial audited statements. Right. Now, you're going to say, honest, but you can do it. Well, I failed my bloody metric. I can't speak English. I can't speak Afrikaans. I can't write this stuff. But yet, yeah, but you can. I can't. Well, I've put a lot more time and effort, I think, to learn the skills. And this is what I want to do with the profit matrix to show people on a level two where this law of multiplication comes in. What can happen? But let me show you one of my students. Now, this guy is 11 weeks on the Rainmaker skill, right? That's a level one business. Already his growth on his investment is 7,256,600%. Already. That, that's his growth. Now, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, oh, Hannes, that can't be true. Let's go and have a look. This morning, I received a testimonial from, from him. And he says, Hannes, thank you. I've been following you for some time now. And as you know, and the difference that you've made in my life and my business, I can't put a price to it. You see, it's actually not I that made the difference. I did not do anything. He understood. He understood that he's got the potential. That's what he understood. And then he decided, he made a deliberate decision to tap into that and to extract that potential that's within him. Uh, of course, he said, I'm currently doing the Rainmakers course, and this is where we can have proof of that. And the MBR course, the Master by Result course, and I'm loving each and every day of it. The moment that you understand these principles, then suddenly every single day becomes a perfect day. You know, it's, it's mind-boggling. We, we were born to have a life of total abundance. We ignore that calling. We listen to flippant experts and gurus and financial institutions that wants to keep us poor. <laughs> they want to keep us poor because that's how they become rich. We need to take that responsibility. We need to take care of that to learn the skills in order to apply this matrix and to change our lives so that we can have that freedom. But it's not only financial freedom. It's also mental freedom and time freedom. I'm talking about real freedom. You know, um, he said what I love uh, most about is that you as a mentor have no problem giving praise and also kicking me under the backside when I need it. And that's my, my function. If I can see that you do not deliver and that you do not live up to your potential, then it's my duty to tell you so. Or if, well, at least that's what I see, but maybe I'm wrong. And there's Vaughn, and I think he's bragging a little bit with, with one of his cars. So, uh, now, why all this blabbering? I've got a, a, a webinar, a seminar, actually. It's a seminar. It's a, going to be a live seminar. It's going to be at Bytes. And I'm going to launch, actually, it's a pre-launch, a level two wealth creators business. And... I'm going to give you a lot of information. There's also a free course that 34 rands 83 cents that I'm busy turning into 1.3. There's a fabulous course in lesson five. I'm actually a module five. I'm addressing the, the next level. In other words, level two, uh, the profit drivers and the matrix. And I start to explain it. But on this live seminar, I'm really, really going to blow your mind away to show you by using this matrix what potential is in the business, if you've got a business or your investment, as well as if you haven't even got a business, what you can really do by, by simply understanding your potential. You know, in 1983, 82 actually, I read a book that changed my life forever. And that book, one verse by Ochmandino said, I'm not on this earth by chance. I'm here for a purpose. And that purpose is not to shrink into a grain of sand but to grow into a mountain. And henceforth, I'll apply all my efforts to become the highest mountain of them all. And I will strain my potential until it cries for mercy. Here's my question to you. Are you really straining your potential? Or are you mediocre? Is, that, is this what you want for your life? You know, I see that people sit in traffic. <coughs> I've been retired or I, uh, financially free for the last 18 years. For 18 years, I've never sat in traffic waiting for a client. I, I do not have a cell phone. What do you want for your life? And what are you prepared to do to get that? Are you prepared to strain your potential? Please come and join me on that seminar. And please come and ask me questions. We will have time. And I'm, I'm, I promise you that it's going to be 
a great I know that this was a long video but I really sometimes I I get this frustration because I could see that I do not get through to people and and to get through to people is for me to understand or to let them understand their greatness their potential and then to tap into that and to become the best that they can be so I hope to see you then if not I hope that you at least learn something here yeah? and if not well then give me a comment and, and, and tell me why uh, well first of all change your mindset because I do not want a lot of negative stuff there um, if it's negative it's simply because you are negative and you think negative and you're conditioned to think negative and then perhaps you should not even be on my database because my my job is to turn and help people to become wealth creators if you want to be ordinary I don't think I can help you I'm sorry but there are millions of people out there that can give you far better advice and are willing to help you than what I can. But I hope to see you there and I hope that you've learned something for, from, from this. And perhaps <laughs> give me your comment. Um, thanks for your time.